Hi, I'm Madhu Vishwanathan from Loyola Marymount University, and I have the pleasure of introducing you to our unique DK Kim Foundation Business for Good program. This is an opportunity for teachers around the world to learn and to share with us in teaching a one-of-a-kind approach to business for good. I have a mechanical engineering degree from South India from the Indian Institute of Technology in Chennai, formerly Madras. I have a PhD in marketing from the University of Minnesota, and for 29 years, I was a professor at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. I am now a professor at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. I have been very privileged to pioneer the area of subsistence marketplaces and to pioneer the social enterprise of marketplace literacy. It has been an amazing journey where we have taken a bottom-up approach to understanding people living with low income around the world. We have then understood how they think, feel, relate, sustain, and run businesses and act as customers. We have also been bottom up in the sense that we have understood how they develop products and how we can develop products for them and how they run businesses and how we can create businesses to serve their needs. This has been an amazing journey where I've had about 800 students a year on average in the last 15 years. I have taught students from first year undergraduates all the way to executives and PhDs. I also have been privileged to pioneer marketplace literacy, which came from the research. We have reached more than 100,000 women around the world with our program. Our program does not focus on the what, as in what to buy or sell, or even so much the how, as to how to buy and sell. It is unique because it focuses on the why. This why, or no why, is the understanding that people with low income and low literacy need to function in the marketplace as buyers and sellers. So this is where I come from, and I've been in this unique position now of teaching business for good, a first-year undergraduate class for Loyola Marymount University and its College of Business Administration. Thanks to the generosity of Mr. Kim and the DK Kim Foundation, we now have funding to do a number of things to first of all take business for good to the entire LMU community. Secondly, to teach teachers around the world how to teach business for good using our unique approach. And finally, to create a virtual platform to teach low-income youth around the world business for good and marketplace literacy. Let me tell you a little bit about the course. It is a one-of-a-kind, new-to-the-world course where we challenge our students in a variety of ways. What do I mean by that? By subsistence, I mean the broad range of low income. And the word marketplaces connotes pre-existing marketplaces to learn from. And this is the bottom-up approach. I deliberately don't use the word markets because that suggests that we already have products that we can take to new markets. My approach to subsistence marketplaces is inside out. We don't treat low income settings as a means to our own ends. We studied them in their own right. Much of humanity lives, consumes, and runs enterprises in these settings. As a business professor, I should study them in their own right. And that has been my approach as well. So what do we do in this Business for Good course? We ask students to understand a unique need in subsistence marketplaces and design a solution. A product, a good or a service, a tangible product, or an intangible product. We ask them to build a business plan to implement that solution and show how they reach the triple bottom line of economic, environmental, and social sustainability. So these are a lot of challenges we throw at our students. We provide some content-based discussions and lectures. We also guide students with a very structured approach in our project. We provide a variety of learning experiences, like a poverty simulation, which can be done online or in person, and even asynchronously online. We provide our students with the opportunity to do virtual interviews with people living in low income around the world. And we conclude with a celebratory poster session where students go to the marketplace of ideas and in a very public setting present their work. So this is what we try to do. We cover a number of global challenges like poverty and the environment in our course. But we also cover a series of issues about business for good. We also cover the topic of business for good gone bad. So this gives you an idea of the kinds of challenges we throw at our students who are often first years. This set of videos is going to explain how we teach this course, and we're also going to share all the material that we have produced. We're also going to provide a set of webinars to help teachers move forward. 
So we hope that this is a resource that you come back to, and we hope that it's of use to you. Let me point out also that it does not have to matter as to what level you teach a course at, because there are elements of this course I've used across the board from first year undergraduates to sophomores, juniors, and seniors, to masters as well as PhD students and executives. So you will see that there are elements here that we are able to enact in a very unique way that create this whole idea of virtual immersion. And the idea there is that we move from sympathy to informed empathy through our approaches. So one unique takeaway from this learning experience is this bottom-up approach. We don't believe that the bottom-up approach is better than a top-down approach. A top-down approach is based on what we already know. It is very important, as important as the bottom-up approach, which is based on learning from the ground up. What we argue, though, is that the bottom-up approach is difficult to do and often neglected. And it is particularly neglected in settings that we are unfamiliar with, like subsistence marketplaces. We also believe that the bottom-up approach is particularly relevant when you think of some of our grand challenges. Let me conclude the introduction with one more point. We have been teaching in this manner for more than 15 years. We actually did not change the fundamentals of the way we teach despite the pandemic, because we have always been about bottom-up and we've always been about creating these disruptive environments for students to learn from where all bets are off, as we saw with the pandemic. So much of what we learned changed on a day-to-day -day basis and even hourly basis during the pandemic. So we believe we have this unique experience for you and we are here to share this with you. Once again, let me thank the DK Kim Foundation and Mr. Kim for their generosity, the College of Business Administration for how they've supported this endeavor, and Loyola Marymount University as well. Thank you.